interesting about my choice to be a facilitator with Talk to the Entities is that I've avoided it for the last six years <laughs> since I've been an access consciousness facilitator. And um, I love bodies and I love energy work and that's something that's always been easy for me. But I had gotten to the point with my sessions where I knew there was more that was possible with sessions and with people's bodies. And a lot of times like this whole entity thing would start showing up with regards to what was going on in their world. And I only knew how to deal with it, like sort of on a surface level. And even though I'd taken many of the entity classes, I was like a grumpy old man in the classes. It's like, I sat in the back of the room with my arms folded, like, you know, like this. And I felt like I, you know, like when I was in Catholic school, uh, when I was hearing about Adam and Eve and I was like really angry and like, how do they know that this is true? And, you know, I was like doubting Thomas, you know? So I avoided it and I avoided it and I avoided it. And, and usually when that shows up in your world, it's probably the very thing you need to really look at, right? and to explore and so i started asking questions like what would it take for my sessions to become more potent more powerful and what would it take for me to take my facilitation with people even the verbal facilitations um to another level and to really break through people's strongholds the areas where they're stuck their limitations um the things that that have plagued them for years and years and years um, and one day as I was scrolling through Facebook, I see Shannon doing this 30 minute thing on talk to the entities. And finally I was like, after all these years, I'm like, yes, that's it. It's time. The time is now.